Hey guys, how's it going? Um, happy, um, happy Wednesday. The only reason I know it's Wednesday, I don't know. <sighs> we have a Twitter chat in a few minutes. Um, and here I am in my workout clothes, although I don't work out in this jacket. This is that Lorna Jane jacket that I told you about. You're like, good lord, sometimes my boobs are just... <sighs> I didn't ask for these people. Um, they're just sometimes a lot to handle. Um, anyway, and I have my workout hair going on, but all that to say is I just finished my last uh, set of calls. It's 7.20. We have a Twitter chat at 8, and um, somehow in between all of that, I'm going to fit an, a, fit in a um, workout of the day. Um, here in my house. I'm going to do a travel wad. Why does this look funny? I have like a workout top on underneath this, but it's doing that. That looks stupid. Okay, I'm having all kinds of issues. So anyway, um, I thought I'd come in here and shoot a quick evening vlog because tomorrow is another crazy day. I have to head downtown on Friday, so tomorrow's Thursday, I have to head downtown on Friday because one of our um, influential clients, Anytime Fitness, has their um, annual, I've said um about a million times today, please forgive me, not a lot of caffeine going on. Oh, hold on. Shoot me, I'm having a Diet Coke today. <sighs> Who was I talking with? Oh, I think I was talking with Amy over the weekend, and I was telling her how I do. I'm like, I, I really still dream about Diet Coke all the time. And how I have one occasionally, and I told her, I said, you know, I keep some in. I've got this mini um, Coke refrigerator that they, the kind folks at Coca-Cola sent me. So it's out in my garage with some Coke and beer and stuff. And I do, I have an occasional Diet Coke, but it really is, most of the day, I'm drinking water, I drink my black coffee, my, my paleo coffee, whatever. Um, unsweetened iced tea, I haven't been making it yet, or lately, but, um, so I was telling her about Diet Coke, and she goes, I've just lost the taste for it, and I'm like, not me. I freaking love it, and if you don't like it, move on, okay? Um, so, here's what I'm so excited about. Speaking of when I was down in Amy's house, Amy had both of these cookbooks and I was leaping through them because as you know, I, it's so funny to say, I've gone paleo. It sounds weird, like a cult, but <laughs> as you know, paleo is my approach to eating now and it's working really well for me. Um, I'm really looking forward to, you know, again, one of the things I noticed since coming back and going paleo is that I'm, I'm getting in that habit again of I eat the same five things over and over. So I need to get some variety. I want to get some variety in my diet and in what I'm making because I do. I tend to get bored and, and I, for some reason, I love to cook. And since I'm not cooking the Food Network style show stuff that I want to cook, right? Like I'd love to be Giada and make just lasagna all day. Let me tell you, the lasagna that I make, it's worth the stomach ache. <laughs> I might rethink that. Um, but anyway, I love to cook, but I don't have the creative juices in my head left after a long day to go, what should I make with salmon? You know, what can I do so it's not grilled salmon with some broccoli? You know, that's what I'm trying to get away from is, is taking paleo and, or, or any diet approach that you have, taking what what you like to eat and actually making some fun meals out of it. So you're gonna see a lot more of that kind of stuff coming in Fitfluential land. I also, I'm just gonna say this, okay? I'm just gonna be honest. I'm seriously thinking that 2013 is the year for some serious Botox. And it's also gonna be the year that I find some kind of a solution because it's beginning to be like, you guys have no idea. The first thing I notice when I watch my vlogs is like, oh, yes, I'm gonna get a bunch of, you're so shallow comments, but seriously, you can't blame me, okay? There's nothing wrong with being a little shallow. You know, I just want somebody to get like a, a sandblaster thing and just let's, let's exfoliate 
and then, you know, some kind of a thing with your neck that brings it back like this. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> These are the things you start to notice when you get old like me. But generally speaking, I'm very happy. Aside from the fact that clearly I need to go tanning. Um, these two things came in the mail from Sarah, who, Sarah Fragoso, she's one of our Fitfluential Ambassadors, who's fabulous. And it's so funny because I remember again that when I first read some paleo books, you know, a year and a half ago, whenever it was, and I was like, there is no way, no way I'm doing that. I'm like, of course, you know, I'm going to eat, you know, that's when I was still having dairy. So I was like, no way. And here I am where it's really... I feel great. I hate it. I hate it when I eat something now that is, you know, either not paleo or not in in, in alignment with what I do or what I what I'm. A, I can't even talk today, you guys. Forgive me. It's not in alignment, and then I get really bad stomach aches. So, all that to say, I don't have the create the creativity to come up with these amazing things that I see all my fitful ambassadors putting up on Instagram, and I'm going, Jill Hanner, really? Power cakes, really? Julie Goleen, really? What, I mean, how do you come up with this? Stuffed mama? I mean, every day she needs a damn cookbook of her own. Seriously? Who else? Janith is amazing. Um, I actually have created a Twitter list of all these girls that make just amazing meals where everything I look at, let's just, for shits and giggles, let's do this. I'm gonna just whip it out here, talking about Instagram people, don't get excited. Um, let's just see if I can show you a, let's see, here's Jess from Blonde Ponytail. She's making homemade protein bars, so can you see that? Can you see that? Um, let me tell you something. This girl can take protein powder and make concoctions with, oh, it looks like she put chia seeds in there too. She's making GNC Live Well Protein. Let me just like that while we're here. Um, here, I gotta show you just some of these, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, somebody was showing a bunch of Chobani yogurt. Um, I'm sorry, it's just because I'm dairy free. Uh, hold on, because I see stuff like this all the time and I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Um, come on! Great ideas. Maybe I'm following too many people on Instagram. Um, if you're following me, Kelly Alexa, for the love of God, show me something good. I might not be able to show you guys. Uh, but anyway, I'm always on here at night when I have my iPad and I'm trying to watch um, some television shows. And then I'll be, here's, here's one, Jill Hanner. Okay. So what is this? Baked, st seriously, baked stuffed chicken with spinach and goat cheese sauteed veggies on the side. Can you see that? Okay. Do you think I'd ever be able to take chicken breast and make it stuffed with that? Who? How can you not want to eat healthy when you have that? Okay, Jill doesn't even know I was going to pimp her out on this. So she's Jill Hanner. Here's Caitlin doing, if you're going to eat something, do it out of the jar. Trust me, almond butter, the very last of the jar with a half of a gala apple and chocolate chips. So clearly you should be following all of us. Just go to Instagram. If you don't have it on your phone, you should be. Um, do a search for pound fitfluential and you'll find a bunch of our people on there and then you'll get great meal ideas. But that said, back to our cookbooks. So when I was at Amy's house on Sunday, she was telling me that she had these books because I remember when she got it last year and I was like, I'm not going paleo. <laughs> I always end up making an ass out of myself in some way or another. But now I have both of these and when I was looking at these at Amy's house, I was, okay, can we see here? And I'm going to do a review of these later, and I'll take you through a little trip, um, an ongoing trip, where I'm going to make almost all of these recipes, and not do it on camera, but show you pictures on cameras, and review what I like. Here's lamb. I'm just showing you the pictures. I mean, this just totally makes it different. Oh, look. Soup, stews, and sauces. Um, apple, shallot. I don't do pork. I just don't like it. Lamb under pressure. I like that. Um, everyday paleo pizza. Mm, we're gonna have to look at that. Um, almond meal. Like these are things that 
you know, I see everybody using certain ingredients and I'm like, okay, note to self, get coconut flour, get almond flour, get Bragg's amino acids, and then I'll buy all this stuff and have no idea what to do with it. So I need a guide. I need someone to tell me exactly what to do. Um, ginger citrus skillet chicken, looking good. Pecan crusted chicken, look at that. See, this is what I need. I need something that's going to excite me. I have shiny object syndrome, I'm bored. I need work, my, ooh, sun-dried chicken tomato slaw. I'm not being paid to say this, you guys. Yeah, so that was her first one, and then this is her second book that's just out now. We're gonna be doing a Twitter chat with Sarah. Um, I don't have the date yet, but I will, you know, if you follow Fitfluential on Twitter, you can find out, and if you subscribe, to our blog, you can, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, subscribe to our blog, ooh, whole great chicken with roasted garlic, <laughs> brined and saw, I don't like ribs, sorry Sarah, slow cooker lamb shank, I like anything that says lamb shank in it, um, I like lamb, slow, ch slow chicken curry, um, ooh, homemade mayonnaise! A lot of you guys were asking me about that, because remember I told you that I was buying mayonnaise at the store, and then every one of it was canola oil? I'm like, seriously? Is there, like, mayo that's made out of, it's supposed to be, okay, egg yolks, apple cider vinegar, yellow mustard, sea salt, cayenne pepper, olive oil. Bam! Sun-dried, oh, but this is other stuff. Quick and simple meal ideas. I love her. We have just become even BFF. Even more BFS. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. I'm just admiring her physique going, it's time to lose 10 more pounds. Um, everyday paleo stuffing. <gasps> Coconut oil, onion, Italian pork or beef, uh, mushrooms, celery, carrots, homemade chicken broth, diced sage, tomato thyme, blah, blah, blah. Oh, is this wrong? I don't think this is wrong. I'm not giving the whole recipe out. You have to buy the book. Um, I'm gonna to have to ask her if I'm allowed to say that. I don't think I think I don't think it's bad. I am giving credit. <laughs> you will buy the book. Um, I'm not saying anything else. Chicken cacciatore. Okay. So anyway, that said, go out and buy one, and I'm gonna be making a lot of those recipes, and I'm very excited. Follow us on Instagram, um, meaning my people, um, and oh my. God, I love Diet Coke. <laughs> I'm sorry. At least I admit it. I just love how somebody can get all over me on, on Facebook or, or Twitter and go, I can't believe you call yourself a fitness person and you like Diet Coke. Are you kidding me? First of all, I've said this before. Of course I like Diet Coke. And of course there's a lot of fitness people that like Diet Coke. There's a lot of people that wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. At least I'm admitting it to you instead of going, oh, I never touch this stuff. And then behind the scenes, I'm like, just too many people that have spent way too much time studying at the Academy of Douchebaggeriness. It's time to get a new degree, people. So that said, I am going to go get a breast reduction. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> See you tomorrow.